Hello everybody and welcome back to the Return to Bloody Nights. We're gonna play Wednesday now and Chucky has a red ski mask on. I decided I'm gonna switch it up. Hello Henry. Oh these I'm idiots are still well, talking. How about yourself? I'm doing alright. I wanted to touch base with you about something. I heard that some of the employees saw a preview of the new animatronics design and they were a bit concerned that they looked a little too scary and robotic. They do look what terrifying. Your thoughts on that? Well, I can understand why they might think that. But I assure you the final project will be much more child friendly. The employees only saw a work in progress and were still fine tuning the details. I hope you're right, William. We don't need any negative experiences from our young guests. As I mentioned before, I've been studying child psychology to ensure that the animatronics create a positive and safe experience. I'm confident that we'll achieve that goal. I believe my robots will be the best around. All right then, I trust your expertise in this area. On a personal note, how are you holding up with, with the uh, divorce proceedings? It's been a difficult time, Henry. I won't lie about that. But I'm doing my best to keep my focus on my work and my children the most important thing to me. So is Charlotte for me. She's my only family. I just want you to remember that it's okay for you to take some time to yourself. You can't pour from an empty cup. Don't forget to take a break and recharge. Thank you for the reminder. I appreciate your concern. I'll try to take care of myself as well, and my work, too. No problem, William. We'll talk again soon. Take care. You too, Henry. This guy is... He's, why is the phone still here? This guy, he's very annoying. He's, he's like, very... Who the hell are you? Why is he big body? Why is he built big body? Why is he swole? Who the hell is that? Why are Greetings, you my dear built like a employee. Lego character? Congratulations on making it to night three. You're built like a Lego Simple brick. Fact that you're here listening to me means that you've made a glorious contribution to Fazbear Entertainment. On behalf of the founders and myself as the CEO of the company, I want to thank you for your participation and dedication to this job. We hope that we can count on you for another week of your excellent service. Unless you've got some big dreams you're chasing after. So, tell me, have you seen anything weird the past couple of nights? Yes. You know, I want to know every little detail going on in this fine establishment. You don't care. I didn't report nothing this morning. I'll assume everything's all good. I didn't have the opportunity to. Have you ever wondered how this place operates during the day? No, not at all. Despite all the rumors and investigations, it's actually pretty great. I mean, I was taking a stroll around here earlier and saw some kids jumping into the ball pit and having a blast. They even Did they get stuck? It was a time machine. Kids these days. <laughs> huh. I tell you, sometimes those kids have more imagination in their pinkies than most adults have in their whole bodies. Obviously. It's a shame we lose that spark as we get older. But hey, that's what Fazbear Entertainment is all about. Bringing a little magic back into our lives, right? And you're a crucial part of making that happen. So keep up the good work. Actually, I have a little something for you in case you're interested in earning an additional $20. Mm -hmm. We're recording some lines for the instruction tapes regarding the spring lock technology, and I think you'd be there he is. for the job. You got a great voice, kid. All you have to no do idea. is read some text into a recording machine, and I'll make sure you're compensated for your time. Read? I don't know you if I can do that, though. fancy. Just be the voice on the tapes. We want to send them to every pizzeria that uses new spring lock costumes. How cool is that? Pretty cool. All right, you'll meet our new assistant. Her name is Karen. She's going to tell you exactly what to do. Is she just as rude as you are? Great then. Keep up the good work and keep on keeping on. Until next time, stay safe and don't forget to check those cameras. I'm checking them. Talk to you soon. You better believe I'm checking them. You better believe I'm checking these cameras. Oh! Damn. <laughs> Do I have to find her in the room? That would be a pain in the ass. Are you just gonna keep shaking there? Are you not? You're not actually here yet? Alright, cool. He's not actually here yet. Toot that ass back. 
so you do slightly shift around the or how long you're going to be there for. Stupid ass puppet. Turn around. How long are you going to be there for? I don't know. I don't want to waste too much of this here precious heat. Is that a sign? He's still there. What do you want? Is he just not interested in coming in right now? Don't like that. At least he's pretty vocal when he's coming up. You can hear that gurgling. He's full demonic combat. My man is fighting himself in every conceivable way possible. Alright, they talk when they show up. That's helpful. Stop! Stop! Don't do that! There you are. Stop. That's not cool. That's not funny. This puppet thinks he's got jokes, but that's not funny. Not at all. I mean, there's no secret buttons here. All I can do is close doors and flip flashlights. That's all I can do. There's both of you. All I can do is close doors and flip flashlights. And bobble their heads and honk this. I can't honk his friend, though. I have this keypad, but I'm not sure what it's for. You guys are still there. I don't know what it does. Oh, my goodness. He's real old. He's all the way out. Where's your friend? I gotta check on you a little bit more. Is it, is it, is it, no, that's, I mean, she's real, 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 real long. He's real long. Why are you doing that? <laughs> why are you, why are you so bleh? Why are you just so... What? Long. Slinky? Where'd you go, Slinky? Uh oh. Damn. Stop doing that. Why? It's real sensitive, and I can't really tell which. Oh. Ooh, both of you. Uh oh. That was frankly uncalled for. I don't like the way both of you showed up and then just tapped my door. At the same time that that uh, puppet, puppet, puppet! Oh, nothing was even happening. I was just, I'm just paranoid. Oh. Oh. What? Would you go and do that for? You, you, you just. Jumping, jump, why'd you jump this far? I smudged the hell out of my glasses. There's a giant fingerprint in here now. Waving and posted. All right, I'm risking it, I'm risking it. I wanna see, 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 I wanna see. Eh. All right, there we go. Puppuccino? Where is Slinky at? Slinky hasn't showed up in a, oh, there you are, all right. The Great Bambino. The Great Bambino. I don't know which direction you're looking in. Well, now I know, obviously, clearly. You sick son of a bitch. You still there? I don't. I don't. I don't know what I don't, but I just don't. No! 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 Where's your boy at? 
Oh, there's your boy. Where are you at? Okay. Your boy dipped. He's gone. He 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 moves real qu real quick for a big guy. Where where are you at? Okay. Four and seven. Slinky. Slinky. Okay. Turn back around. Four and seven. Okay. Stop. Okay. There, there's you are. Seven and seven and five. Oh shit. Turn. How long are you gonna growl at? I, I want to click on the damn. It's real sensitive. They have they have the lower portions of the camera a little, just a little bit too low. Every time I try to click on them, it just goes shwink, funk, shwink, funk, shwink, funk, shwink, funk. What's up with the blind eyes? I haven't seen him. Maybe he'll be uh. Mentioned, brought up, tugged on, hit, pulled, dropped from the ceiling in night, night four, Thursday. EMP, spirit box, whatever the hell this is. Is that an eye? Can we get, can we replace his eyes? I don't like that kind of milky crystal kind of color thing he's got going on right there. Can we replace it? You got a, you want a new eye right there? You can just reach down, take that out. Just pluck the one right out your head. You Put the other one right back in. Hello, William. How are things going with the new restaurant? One day you should just Busy. call him Willie. Track for a successful opening tomorrow. Glad to hear it. And have you taken all the necessary safety measures? Oh my God. Of course, I don't need anyone telling me how to run my business. And those employees who think otherwise can find work elsewhere. Uh, understood. And what about your family? How's everyone doing? I'd be getting annoyed if you kept asking me too. With me at work for the past few days. But as for Michael and Evan, they've been influenced by their mother's lies. Michael is too busy being a typical rebellious teenager. And Evan is just a young child who doesn't understand the situation. Frankly, I'd rather keep my distance from them for the time being. They're at home at the moment. I see. Have you tried to have a conversation with your wife about this? Stop prying. It's not worth the effort. She's always been self-centered. Doesn't care about the family's well-being. She's even had the audacity to call me a hypocrite. But let's not focus on that right now. Let's talk about the restaurant, shall we? Uh, sure. We shall. But don't forget about your family. They're important too. I don't need you to remind me of that. I know it's important. Now, if there's nothing else, I have work to do. Actually, I just wanted to say that I worry about you. I hope the restaurant's success will make you happy. Thank you for your concern. I appreciate it, but I have no time for your pity. I'll talk to you soon. Somebody needs to just like strangle this guy. He just he keeps prying and he just keeps talking. Who, who I've never seen that damn cupcake. I've never seen the blind man. And now Frombo's in the middle. Greetings, night guard. Congratulations on making I have a it name. tonight four. I must say I'm impressed with your work so far. You're doing a fine job, and I'm proud of you. Ah, my neck. Uh, feels like it's been bitten in half and twisted like a pretzel. I slept like a rock last night, but I woke up feeling like I got hit by a truck. I had this weird dream where I was half robot, half human, and let me tell you, I wasn't pretty. My legs were replaced with rusty old scrap metal, and I was clunking around like some kind of junkyard Frankenstein. <laughs> Can you imagine me like that? Talk about a nightmare. Anyway, enough about my weird dreams. Now, I must confess, I forgot to mention something earlier. Oh, we shit. have some new robot prototypes in the building that we just introduced yesterday. My apologies for not mentioning this earlier, but you handled the situation like a pro, and no damage was done. Kudos to you. Now, those robots are brand spanking new. They haven't even had their first oil change yet. They require some more work before they're ready for prime time. And to be honest, 
They're giving me the heebie-jeebies, especially that new bunny one. But, on the bright side, that bunny's new hide-and-seek function is going to be a hit with the kids. Just make sure it doesn't start seeking you out, too. <laughs> but I'm confident you'll handle it. You seem like a tough cookie. All right, so stick to the standard procedures and keep those robots out. Oh, by the way, I'm glad oh, you no. this morning's voice recording session for the tapes. You sounded fantastic. Who knows, maybe I'll need you again for any updates. Now, hold on a moment, I'm being interrupted. What's up, Karen? There's this document that just arrived. Oh, hell no! It's better for you to look at it. Uh, a noticed document about the closure of all our restaurants due to investigations regarding one of the founders being convicted of a crime. Yes. Including Fred Bear's family. Yes. That's outrageous! I, uh, uh, uh. All right. All right, I understand. <clears throat> oh! Now, please return to whatever you are doing. Thanks for bringing the note, Karen. <sighs> Karen, Karen, Karen. She's always trying to bring down the company. But let me assure you, we have nothing to hide and nothing to fear. Fazbear Entertainment is as clean as a whistle, and that founder is as innocent as a newborn baby. Trust me on this one, kid. <sighs> I apologize for that interruption. It is unpleasant news, but don't let it get you down. Oh! The of the restaurants won't mess with your work schedule, so you're good to go. All right, I need you to be quiet. Oh shit! It's overheating. Oh shit! Open it. I'm gonna die soon. I got too panicky when they stood up. <laughs> the positioning of that button is terrible. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> oh. The puppet! The puppet! The puppet! Oh! No. I thought I might have a little bit more time than that. I... Uh, okay. Oh, can I skip this? Can I please skip this? Okay, good. Oh boy. Okay. All right. I just Greetings. Shut up. Don't panic. I just need to watch the two beside me. I don't know who that is. This thing over here can do something. I have to worry about spring trap. I have to worry about the other two fatsos and I have to worry about little Miss Jingle Bells. Yeah, I hear you. This one isn't... This game is, is... It's not scary. It's very loud and startling. There's a difference. There's a difference between being scary and startling. And this... Was that always there? Are you putting parts of yourself over here? Yeah, this game isn't scary. But it is very, very, very startling. 
like obnoxiously startling. Stop. Like very obnoxiously startling. Closer. All right. I want to test and see how close you can get. will you get to me before I have to close the door? I'm just testing it. Please don't kill me. I just want to learn. Are you saying help me? Are you saying somebody help me? Oh, there's Spring Boy. You're not close enough yet. He's getting too close, though. Can you flash? Oh, shit. I'm closing this. Oh. Dead end. Was that Spring Boy? It was Spring Boy. Who was tapping very angrily on my door. Are you good now? Alright, cool. Okay. <clears throat> cool, calm, and collected. Cool, calm, and collected. That's all I need is to stay cool, calm, and collected. Give me a little shake. Give me a little bobble. Give me a little honk. Alright, I'm good. You're moving quickly. Very quickly. Very quickly. I gotta wait for that knock. So no, he's gone. Alright, cool. You shouldn't be an issue for too much longer. But your little golden friend. What? What the hell was that? What the hell was that laugh? You heard that kid? You heard that kid laugh? Spring boy? What the hell was up with that laugh? Why'd you go quiet? trap you're still far enough away you're not at that uh oh Trust him. Spring trap. Knock, knock, knock. Okay. Not you yet. Him soon, though. Whoa, open the door at the wrong moment. Whoa, open the door at the wrong time. Yes. Uh-oh. 
That isn't fair. far enough away. Spring Boy is here though. I, I can't check the cameras yet. I don't want dust, I don't want stuff to overheat. Both of them. I gotta close it. What? I've never heard you tap on the door before. At least I'm just very mistaken, which is also very possible. Okay, it's getting a little intense, just a little bit intense. All right, I, I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little speed. I'm, I'm figuring stuff out a little bit. I'm figuring stuff out a little bit. But what was, what was I gonna say? I forgot once I saw this eyeless, this eyeless creature. I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, I don't remember. I think the cupcake just kind of slumped. A little crazy here. What you got going on inside you, buddy? Huh? What you gonna do? You gonna smack me? You look like you're plotting on me. You look like you're about to smack me. You gonna smack me? No? You just gonna stay there? Hello? Oh, alright then. Well, I don't remember what I was gonna say. Um, hold up. Uh, let's just see if I can think. All right, all right, so the cupcake, the cupcake, I think, just obscures and blocks things on the camera. I don't think the cupcake actually does anything. Spring Boy, whenever he shows up in the camera, I pretty much just have to close it. I don't know his timing, and I don't think I'm going to have enough time to figure out his timing, because everything is real darty. Buddy over here, he just gets louder, and he gets closer. He puts his face in my thing, puts his face in my camera. I check the two side cameras for um, uh, Bon Bon, Bunzo, Golden Bonzo, and then fat face over here check the cameras for them to feel to uh, know when they're coming check behind me randomly and sometimes he does his little jingle bells presumably when he's going to reach for another one of his puppets and he just shakes his head a little bit too hard but I think I think I've got this I've been doing pretty well um, the only one I had to go go on twice was Thursday and I think Friday might be a little bit of pain a little bit of a pain but I think I should be able to get Friday Two. Geez, I was going to say soon. Friday, two. So, I will see you all later. I hope you have a wonderful day, and see you next video.